Jace Peterson is going to join us right now, who uh, got his first home run yesterday. As he's joining us here on A's Cast Live for the very first time. We weren't able to talk to him in spring training, but we're now getting him here. How are you? Good. How about yourself? We missed you at spring training. We're finally getting here. This is the A's show that we have before every single game. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Glad to be here. Congratulations on last night. Appreciate it. Appreciate move it. your mics a little bit closer. Appreciate you. That had to feel pretty good. Yeah, a lot, a lot better if you can get a win. But um, I think we did some things that were good and, uh, you know, just kind of build off that. You know, when you come to a new team, how important is it to get off to that new start? Just because whether it's the players, it's the fans, you want to get things rolling good early for you. Yeah, I feel like you kind of got to. I've been around for a little bit now, so I feel like for me, yeah, that's definitely important. Uh, but you kind of want to be yourself and not try to do too much. Just continue to trust your work, um, show up every day, try to get better every day. And when the game comes, go compete and trust what you've been doing. So that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I feel like I've had some good at bats and uh, hit some balls hard, just not really finding the holes too much yet. But um, I think that uh, that'll come. So when you talk about a guy who's been around a little bit, I've got the violations so far. They're not really that bad. We've only had overall in the league, we've had 36 for pitchers, two to, uh, two for catchers, 19 for hitters. It's less than one a game. I mean, you've been playing this game a long time. You're now having to do it a different way. Have you seen a major difference, or is it now after spring training kind of this is what it is? Yeah, I think spring helped. Um, anytime you can go out there and kind of have some games that are meaningful but also get to work on your game and kind of do things where you can implement those situations that we have with the pitch clock and it definitely speeds up the game a little bit and I think there are certain instances in account where you might chase a bad pitch and you used to you could step out and kind of gather yourself now you get one time out so um I think it definitely speeds it up a little bit but spring definitely helped for for guys to kind of expedite it and get used to it a little bit as you're walking up we were just talking about it you know now that you know we saw it in spring training got to see some games down there and then now watching it it's like there's a lot of things like I don't notice the bigger bases. I don't know. Like now that there's no shifting, it just seems normal again. It was so abnormal to take the shortstop and put him in right field or a third. We used to put Marcus Simeon way into right field right, back in the right. day. Right. Or you'd see a third baseman playing shortstop or if it's a right handed hitter, everybody on the left side. And now the first baseman is playing more towards second. Like it's now more normal. You don't notice it as a defender. How was it? You know, I think that's another one of those things that I think spring kind of getting back to playing your normal position, uh, relying on range a little bit more. Obviously, the analytical part is still in it. So where guys hit the ball tendencies, that's where you're going to mostly be. But it definitely eliminates that what you just talked about and having three guys on one side. Um, I think it definitely makes the game more interesting. Uh, there's a lot. I think lefties are going to really benefit from it, from those four hole hits. And like you said, having that third baseman way out there in right field. Um, I know that when I was over there, I caught a lot of balls from guys that would yeah. smoke balls. So um, I think it's definitely going to allow the game to kind of open up and, and get more used to like it used to be. And I try and explain to people all the time, this is a game of math. So you get one extra hit a week. One of those balls that you defenders in the shift were taking away, it's now a hit. You do one or two of those a week, it dramatically changes all your numbers. Absolutely. It adds up quick. Um, one hit a week is huge in the grand scheme of things, like you said. Um, if you can get – that extra hit on a, on a weekly basis is big for the end of the year. But, you know, you just got to take the mentality one day at a time, one at bat at a time, and and try to put good at bats together and string them together. And um, if we, we can continue to take that approach and do that as a team, I think we'll be in a good spot. So we didn't get a chance to talk to you in spring, and I wanted to ask us, and we just we just couldn't run into you while we were down there. But why Oakland? Why was Oakland a good fit for you? You know, for me, it was the first team that had reached out um, – I had a lot of other teams that had reached out, but Oakland was the first team that reached out. And, you know, I, I played here in California um, back in my minor league career, and I enjoyed my time out here. So um, I think more than anything, it was a team that reached out first. And uh, the way we were able to kind of negotiate and see where we would be, I felt like it was a good fit for me to come over here. And I obviously got to play with Kotze a little bit uh, in spring training, so I'm a little familiar with him. Um, and I love what he does and how he goes about it. So that was also another big, big role in it. So – um, I think mostly between Kotze and, and coming over here to the beautiful weather in California um, was kind of the decision for me. Well, and I think about, you know, young players that you have to deal with in spring, still some young players here, a lot of young pitchers. You've been around this, right? This isn't your first rodeo. How important is that for you to help these guys out as they're now trying to make their way in this game? You, you know, for me, it's, 
continue to – I've been through both sides of it. I've lost a lot of games in the big leagues, and then I've won a lot of games in the big leagues. So um, it's a hard game no matter what position you play, yeah. whether you're a pitcher or whether you're a position player. Um, it's a hard game. Brutally and, hard. And, and you have to yeah. understand that you're going to fail majority of the time. And um, the beauty about baseball is you get to come back the next day and play. So – Really, kind of keep it in perspective for me is just try to take it one day at a time. Don't don't get too far ahead. It's a long season, and just try to win each day. And uh, I feel like that mindset is what we're trying to do, and that's what most of these guys are bringing to the table. Uh, we're worried about today and not tomorrow, and um, go out and try to get a win today. People have a hard time when they hear that. They go, "Oh God!" But when you think about it, you have like a couple tough games against the Angels. You don't score. You got to flush it. Because then you come out the next day and then you score 11 runs. Just really talk about that, how really whatever happens Monday doesn't matter now on Tuesday or Tuesday doesn't matter on third. Like you really have to flush any good or bad. Tomorrow is always a new day. Absolutely. I mean, I I try to live by it's never as good as it seems and it's never as bad as it seems. Um, Obviously, everybody out here wants to do their best, um, but you're also competing with the best players in the world. So they also want to do their best. Um, and you have to take that mindset because it's it's a new day each day, and you could be four for four one day and zero for four the next day, and make every play one day and not make a play the next day. That's just how the game goes. That's how it's always been. So, um, I think in my career, young, older veterans who who I got to play with the Kelly Johnsons, the Johnny Gomes, uh, the Jeff Francoeurs, guys like that when I was first coming up, come up, they were able to kind of instill that and teach that and show that to me. So it's something that I I tried to understand at a young age and. It's still hard. It's hard. Nobody wants to fail, but that's what this game is. It's a game of failure. So just to try to show up, compete, and be yourself, and, and and take each day as it comes and go one day at a time. So far, what do you think the team's strengths are? You know, obviously, coming out of spring training, um, obviously we can run. I think this team has a lot of speed. I think we're a team that has the ability to string at bats together. Uh, I think you saw that last night with the way we kind of started and how we were rolling. And we, even when we got down, we were able to come back up. Um, I think we got speed, which also changes the yeah. game in the outfield defensively. So um, I think speed's definitely a big thing of this team. And then obviously just to be able to have consistent at bats throughout the lineup. Um, and obviously we got good arms in the bullpen and we got good starting pitching. So you add all, all those things together. It's just a matter of going out, competing, getting in a rhythm, getting in a flow and going to play games. Well, we've been waiting to meet you. Thanks so much for stopping Thanks by. For me. Yep. I know, you know, we, we bring you over from uh, batting practice, but that means a lot. Thank you so much. Nope, no uh, we've problem. been looking forward to having you and uh, looking forward to watch you play the rest of the season. Of course, last night makes me makes us want to see more. Awesome. Sounds good. Appreciate you having me. Good luck the rest of the way and we'll talk to you soon. Sounds good.